This is CryptoTube, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we are going through Tezos staking. So I'm gonna show you how you can stake your Tezos on Ledger Live using your Ledger hardware device and ensuring your coins never leave your hardware device. So you keep your private keys and you can gain some staking rewards with Tezos. Tezos to actually stake, you require 8,000. So obviously that is out of the reach of a lot of people. Therefore, you can delegate your stake and therefore earn rewards via a pooled method. So this is how we're going to do it today using Ledger Live. So what you're going to need to do is get your Ledger Live account up. And you can see I've got these two tests currently running. And you can notice that they are baking as with Tezos. They don't use the word staking, but baking instead. So to get Tezos onto your Ledger device, go to Manager, unlock your device, mine's just unlocked there, search in the app for TE, and then Tezos will come up. Click Install, and it'll take probably 10, 20 seconds maybe to install onto your device. And obviously I've got my hardware device down below here, and it is currently processing. This has been done successfully, okay. Add Tezos account. And now I am going to click continue here, as that is the correct account with XTZ as the ticker. Continue, again, it's gonna ask you to open the Tezos wallet on your actual device. So double click onto that, and then it confirms. Just continue through. And now I'm gonna call this Tezos baking number three. And you can set up as many accounts as you want. Maybe if you earn some some proof of stake rewards, you want to add them to a, to a new account to try and compound that. Or if you want to just divvy up your, your funds like I'm doing here with different amounts and see how it goes. And you can also see if different uh, delegation pools actually provide better yields. So I'm going to add this account now. Account successfully added. And then I am going to close this down and we're going to go over to the actual Tezos 3. Here we are. Okay, so we want to receive some funds now to get them onto that account. So if you click receive and then we want to credit this Tezos Bacon 3, continue. And on my ledger device, it's still unlocked. So we can continue again. Now we need to verify and TZDRV, and then just check that on the device, and that is all correct. So I go on to accept, double press, and I'm gonna copy this address now. So copy that, and then you need to send your Tezos from a account. So if you're using Binance, for example, or maybe you're using Coinbase like this, and you wanna send those funds across. So I'm gonna send the remaining, um, uh, maximum amount and to my address first control and V send max so I've got 43 left and that was for account three to so just leave a note and continue and then it will ask me to enter my 2FA which is as follows continue and then that'll send the transaction so roughly 43 Tezos going over to the device. So that'll take probably seven minutes to actually go through and appear on here, but I haven't delegated my baking number two as of yet. So we can see the rest of the process with this one just by here now. So what we're gonna do is, if you scroll down, delegation, you can now earn Tesla staking rewards by delegating your account. Click earn rewards. Now it says delegate accounts stay yours. So you're not going to lose your funds. You're not sending your funds anywhere. You will send a small maintenance fee to the pool. You can access your account on your assets anytime and it's securely done through the ledger device. So delegate to earn rewards. Now it automatically populates with this one, which is airfoil. However, I'm going to select a slightly different one. And if I just scroll down, this one here, Melange, has a higher 
estimated yield. So I click on that, and that is the one that I'm willing to actually delegate with. So press continue. Now open the Tesla wallet on your app, done, and continue once more. So confirm the operation on your device to send it. So the source up here is gonna be my actual public, uh, my private key, sorry. And then down here is the validators one, which is Melange. And you just wanna check these on your device. So first of all, if I click the right hand button, it shows me the fee that I'm gonna pay, which is 0 0.02863 Tezos. Click right again, you've got the source code and I can confirm the source code there is the same as on my device. And then the delegates address TZ2RM is the same as on my device. So I just click through and press accept and double click. And then delegation has been sent and it says you should earn your first rewards within around 40 days depending on the validator. You can then view the details of these on the Explorer. So that is how you actually delegate. I will be doing an update video in roughly one month's time when I start to get those rewards in and then there will be payment every three days or so. So that is as easy as it is. If we just go on to the Explorer, you can see your previous transactions on there and confirm that they have been sent to Melange, who is the actual um, delegate. This website here, mytezosbaker.com, is somewhere you can check out the various options for using your delegate stakes. And these guys are the actual bakers. They've got obviously 8,000 or more Tezos and are able to actually run those nodes. So what I did was to actually choose Melange, I wanted to see one with a low fee. So I actually filtered by fee level. And be aware if you do use Coinbase and you just keep your funds on there, you can actually earn your Tezos staking rewards via them. However, they charge a 25% fee, which is astronomical. And remember, Tezos stakes at around 5% per annum. So losing a quarter of that to Coinbase is really, really inefficient. So this fee was only 4% and I wanted to make sure I was gonna use someone that had been around for at least six to eight months as a minimum to show they've got a bit of backing behind them and a good track record. And you can, as you can see, these guys have been running since June of 2019. These ones are a lot younger and so maybe I didn't really fancy going with them. So you can check out the stats then for the actual baker and see if you want to go ahead with them. So I did that, did my own research for this Melange pool and I'm pretty happy with it. So I've now got, I'm gonna have the third one pop up anytime soon. I've got two sets of baking already. So almost 160 coins or 160 Tezos will be staking. So this time next month, I will do an update on how that's going and we can see what kind of rewards I've yielded. So I'll catch up with you guys in the next video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and any comments or queries, hit me up down below about this and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.